U.S. President-elect Joe Biden and his team are running full steam ahead, preparing to take office on the 20th of January. The President-elect has announced key members of his economic team of what he calls an accomplished historic team of trailblazers ready to build American economy. Let's have a look at the key members. We start with Janet Yellen, who is nominated as uh, Secretary of the Treasury. If confirmed, she will be the first woman to lead the Treasury Department in its 231-year uh, history. She was also the first woman to lead America's central banking system and has previously been confirmed by the Senate on four separate occasions. Next is Neera Tandon, who has been nominated for the Director of the Office of Management and Budget. If confirmed, she would be the first woman of color and the first South Asian American to lead the OMB. She has helped in developing policies for the Affordable Care Act for the first Obama-Biden presidential campaign as well. Then there is Wally Adeyemo, who, if confirmed, will be the first African-American Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, a veteran of the executive branch. He currently serves as the president of the Obama Foundation and was Obama's senior international economic advisor. The fourth candidate is Cecilia Roos, who is nominated to serve as chair of the Council of Economic Advisors. If confirmed, she will become the first African-American and just the fourth woman to lead the CEA in the 74 years of its existence. A leading labor economist and the dean of the Princeton School of Public and International Affairs, Rose served as a member of the Council of Economic Advisors in the Obama-Biden administration and was on the National Economic Council in Clinton administration as well. Biden has also nominated Jared Bernstein and Heather Bushi to serve as members of the Council of Economic Advisors. While Jared was the chief economist of the Obama administration, Heather is a longtime economic counselor to President-elect Biden. The announcements for the economic team comes on the heel of his announcing the candidates for the White House communications team, which was compromised entirely of women. Joining us more uh, on this broadcast, joining us for more is uh, Rachel Silverman, who's joining us from San Francisco. Uh, Rachel, how is uh, Biden's, uh, how are Biden's announcements being received, not only within his own party, that is the Democrats, but uh, across the aisle in the Republican camp as well? Well, the president-elect, Joe Biden, repeatedly promised to build a government that looks a lot like America, and he hasn't wasted any time in delivering on that promise. His picks, his economic picks, show gender diversity, philosophical diversity, racial diversity, even a wide range in age. Uh, this economic team is stocked with champions of organized labor and marginalized workers, and he's signaling a focus on speeding and spreading the gains of the recovery from the pandemic recession. This team will be focused initially on increased federal spending to reduce unemployment and an expanded safety net to, to, cu to cushion households that have continued to suffer as the virus has continued to persist. Now, Biden says his nominees will help create an economy that, as he says, and I'm quoting now, gives every single person across America a fair shot and an equal chance to get ahead. Um, Janet Yellen, who has, of course, been confirmed before, uh, will very likely be confirmed. Um, the, other, um, the other nominees may, um, may present more of a challenge, uh, particularly Neera Tandon, who has um, who has criticized um, uh, Republicans on the right side, um, on the far right. Right. The big challenge uh, for Biden's team is uh, going to be hitting the ground running on day one, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Um, and uh, uh, the, the Biden administration will certainly be, um, will be judged on how well uh, his economic team does. Um, the health of the country is certainly at risk, but uh, also getting this economy um, uh, going again after being uh, so stifled the, by the pandemic, um, that is, uh, you know, that is going to be the challenge. Um, Janet Yellen says um, the government should spend whatever is necessary to weather this pandemic. And um, the president-elect, too, has expressed support for 
borrowing money to aid the current recovery and also to offset the cost of of other economic proposals like an infrastructure bill, actions to mitigate climate change and um, and to to pay for housing, education, all those social programs. Rachel Silverman, thank you so much for joining us and uh, getting us the latest as far as Biden's uh, new proposals for his uh, team are concerned. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.